No, it's also fine. You crossed the wrong sorceress. I can win this matchup. SK would just lose. Yeah, so. Okay. People aren't going to want to play against me either. Like, they've not, not seen these decks before. So, there's a heat wave. There's no curse. There's a lock. There's engines, right? So, getting these um, Griffin Witches down is going to be super important. There's two Dragoons as well, though. So, they're kind of useless. Okay. Target practice is good as a one of. Two of these is kind of bad because they're just going to get moved. But, I mean, at least they need to be answered, right? Stops them getting their engine set up. Two bombs is fine. I don't really want this. Might be the hand, honestly. Like, I don't hate it. I've got assault. Right, let me just start roping more. I mean, what do they have that can actually kill this right now? It's only a Cat Witch, right? So there's like no point of boosting this just yet. And just get heat waved. They have no five removal. So it can get dragooned, it can get locked. I mean it can get locked. But gonna get dragooned, right? But what we can do, we can go Griffin Witcher, Griffin Witcher, and we can actually veil maybe the, the Anna, right? Because then she can't get Kirand. This is always going to be my first, but I do just need to make sure I'm roping. Like, I should have even roped for longer, right? Uh, there's a heat wave. So, alright. Game plan is, try and win round one without committing assault. Lead round two softly with assault. I mean, the problem is it's lots of engines, so it could be more of a struggle. Also, like, I need to kill sword masters for sure. They're deciding? That's a weird opening play. Are they looking to just play three and pass? I'm pretty happy to just play my uh, Griffin Witcher. This is a strange old f first play for my opponent. This I'm, I'm liking where this has gone. N the reason I quite like just going for a second Griffin Witcher is they're not actually that much of a commitment because they just trade with Dragoons. It means they don't have to hold Dragoons in hand. And I mean, it does mean that Sentries are pretty scary if I commit this card. But like at the end of the day, Sentries are scary anyway, right? I just need round control and I need to bleed quite a lot of engines out and short on, short on round three. So I think I'm always just going to commit the second Griffin, which and I'm just not going to give it a Veil either, because then it just gives them a, an easy heat wave, right? I'm going to put them next to each other as well, because I could Anna as well. Honor. Stand for coin. Yeah, like this is a really odd opening play for my opponent, because I've obviously got an abundance of bombs here. Uh, is there any reason to use Moon Dust over Northern Wind? They have any vitality or anything like that. There's no vitality at all. Um, there's no reses, so it, it really doesn't matter. Like, there's a weird play on the sentry. Like, sentry's one of their best cards. I'm really happy with how this game started. I want round control without committing assault, which is... Uh, Exactly what's happening, Kills right? I prefer so, I don't need to, like, commit another card. I'm just going to target practice here. Ping, ping. Target practice. Train on the cone. Crystal skull. I guess I could have done it the other way around, right? But yeah, they pass. I'm not particularly surprised by and like, even though these Griffin Witches seem like commitments, they're really not because my opponent plays double Dragoon, right? Card's not even good. And they still played a Sentry, which is like one of the most threatening cards. Dancing Star is pretty good, right? On Elves. Um, the Moon Dust is going to be super important to deal with Sword Masters. I don't really want this Mentor, right? Ogna. So, what could I brick? Double Knight. I'd love to find Maxi, because obviously not finding Porter would be a nightmare. Uh, do I need this Keldar? No, I can kick Keldar, right, because I can just Quen into him. Obviously, we don't want to hit a Knight. Okay. So what I want to do in this round is I want to do some sort of bleed. 
not too long. But at the same time, my opponent's playing like an engine heavy variant, right? So actually, pushing does make a decent amount of sense. They only have one tool punish as well. But they also have a lock. So they can lock Keldar. Or Anna. They can lock one and heat wave the other. But that means they don't have a tool punish if that happens as well, right? So really, what's my most aggressive opening plan? I'm pretty sure it's just Assault into a Qued when he knight here. Every time. And then I can play Anna. Try and force the lock out. And that means they have to heat wave Keldar. They do have a squirrel. Tameria has yet to speak its last. Gia Horatio! Which I will get squirreled. But this is where like they squirrel me. And then Anna just comes in right. And again they have a heat wave. But I can just put something next to Anna. In a second here. So I've got heat wave for the scenario, and I've got um, heat wave for scenario, and the other thing for guess was like maybe I wasn't supposed to commit double Griffin Witcher, so they would have had to held a uh, something in their hand. But I mean, I've already decided I'm just going to go Anna here, right? I do have to invest a leader, a leader charge. That's the downside of Anna, but like they can only deal with this with a lock, right? And now that they've locked, the only way they squirrel assault, they, they did. Uh, the only way they can actually deal with um, Keldar now is with a heat wave, right? But they also want to heat wave my Pogna. So I am a little bit concerned at the fact that it's a heavy engine deck. I don't want to just use a bomb here just to get, uh, you know, old matey out. I would kind of like to use my, Nord my uh, Dancing Star on something else. It's just a six tempo play. Griffin Adept is also slow, 13 points. It's quite a big commitment needed. I'm just worried I'm going to lose the long round because of all the all the engines, right? Maybe I'll just go for it. Let's just go for it. Now, because there's so many engines, I don't like doing this. But at the same time, like, I have last say. Ah, maybe this is wrong. I think I could have kept smoking a bit. If I had portal, I would have slammed it for sure. I just don't want to commit Adept because then, like, I've only got one Adept left. I don't know. They, they need a big card right as well. This sort of punishes the squirrel play. They need to commit a big card here. Venosio is not enough. It's a shame um, for them because if they Venosio, Aelorine will come out too. Actually, take the Heat Wave. That's a really, really good bit. Uh, really good news for us. Now Keldar's unanswerable, right? So, okay, they've got their full engines for round three, but I've got my Keldar that can't be touched and last say Pogna. Really interesting. Bombs are super good here. Okay, Keldar. We don't actually want Keldar from Quen. We want to Quen into something different, potentially. Obviously, I'm looking for Portal. This card is kind of just my Quen target, I think, and I just aggressively mulligan. This portal is going to be bricked if I'm not careful. I don't want to Quen into Keldar, right? I want to play Keldar as soon as possible. He can't be answered. So I can just use the leader charge. It doesn't get heat waved. But this goes. It's my Quen target. This is my portal target. Come on. Show me the portal. Okay. So it looks like I've bricked massively. But I can just mulligan this away with the Mentor. Hopefully I hit the Adept over Maxi. Really, really unfortunate. Obviously I've missed my... Um, one of my main cards here to start the game. In round one, missing my portal, missing Maxi. But what can you do? So, this is a bit of a ball lake, really. Because, like, if, if I miss my uh, Adept and I hit Maxi off this Mentor, it sucks even more. There's also another decision how early I want to just go for my, um, go for this play. Like, if I hit this Maxi, it's kind of disastrous, honestly. Now, also, what I could do is I could just use a D bomb on this. And try and kill it with um, old Maddock, right? I roll Maddock. Maybe it's the line. Poor Maddock. Spawn in the back row, son. What a lad! Let's go. What a lad. So, like, we're, we're looking okay. They can't answer Keldar. Obviously, I don't regret this mulligan. I had to try and find Portal. Um... I had to mulligan this because it was going to brick. 
Okay, so I could Dancing Star here, right? What Dancing Star does is, while it's not playing for like the most value, it means I can answer like a Matron when it comes down. It still plays as a 3, right? And it just deals some damage. It's not ever getting better, really. What my other options? And this is it, right? And also, like, we're stopping them setting their engines up, right, to begin with, which is really good. It's a real shame they landed in, the, in this row. I don't actually think I'm going to kill the Matron, though. I think I'm just forced to uh, let this stay. And the reason for that is... Is because um, I really need to kill the Swordmasters, because they can pop shields every turn. It means their player's like a 3 per turn engine, this is just a 1. So even though I've got the bomb for this, I'm just going to leave it. And like, my, my Dancing Star still did already play for, what, 5 points? Like, this is much less threatening when there's no sentries around, right? Both sentries are now, are now gone. So, we have got an option of going Quen for this now. We could also just Quen for the Adept and just accept. Because if we hit Max, it sucks. But we, we might want to wait for the Adrenaline and the Shield. I'm pretty sure we do. But also, if we if we don't wait for the shield, we can actually transform this as well, right? So the shield's not super relevant. Like, we just lose a point, but we'd also lose... Two points on the boost, potentially. Right, this is just an easy Swords kill for us. Ah, I mean, obviously it's a bit... Bit annoying that it's, um... This is weird, like, they've not set up a Cat Witch yet. Obviously this card's quite annoying for us. But like sinking four damage into it feels pretty bad when um when Maddox could high roll, right? Still no scenario, still no Gezras. I think I'm just gonna take this uh this mentor now. Like I can definitely do this. And then I think I just go for the mentor here. Come on, show me the adept. Let's go. Really important. Seeing Maxi there would have been a disaster. So I lost two points, right? And I lost a shield. I lost three points by taking this ordering early. But it also means now I can moon dust something else and I'm just going to high roll Maddock in the front row, I hope. I might honestly just end up ki killing this thing. I mean, they're damaging this down, which is just incorrect, right? Because I can just transform it. Keldar in the front row plus Pogna is going to be fine. I'm not going to overswarm, I don't think. We're looking all right, chat. We're looking okay. If we can win this matchup, it's really good. I mean, SK into elves isn't isn't great either. But it would just be nice to make a positive start, right? Yeah, and this is not doing much, right? We will take back what was stolen. Can I come down now? I mean, like they still haven't played anything that's really that threatening, right? Like maybe I just take the bomb here. I kind of just want to play another Adept, but maybe it's just time to take this bomb, right? I've wasted a point, but then they've full leaded already. Really, this like Swordmaster is pretty good. But at the same time, I've got, I'm going to have two Adepts down on the board, so actually I can just recycle shields, right? Like, what happens if they play a Cat? I don't care about Cat Witches, right? I just kill this thing. Maddock front row. Beautiful. So now I've got a decision on Maddock. And this isn't a threat. Uh, it actually is. This can be this can be killed by Yaven, right? So they can they can kill this with Yaven. That's actually maybe why I should have killed this. Ah, uh, okay. This could be a misplay. This Swordmaster being stuck means that uh, Keldar can be answered by Yaven. That's actually really bad news, mate. Like I've maybe misplayed this quite heavily. This Maddock high roll is. Uh, they might Yaven this. This is a mistake if they do. They might take the Yaven here. If they miss their scenario, they had. This is a misplay. My opponent's playing really badly. This is just not correct. So I've got a decision on Maddock, right? Whether to click or not. I mean, clicking is really good, but obviously I can transform it. I think I'm just going to high roll. Killing this Swordmaster is so good, chat. If I play Keldar back row, he's going to spawn five cards, so it's fine, right? Via eight. The more you know, the 
unless you blunder like a buffoon. Come on, high roll, baby. Believe in the high roll. The Let's go! Let's go, chat. Let's go. That's huge. Do you really want to know? Okay, that's a lot of shields gone. Right, so I did say I can play one more card in this back row. Pogma's not looking too hot, but that's all the shields they can pop, chat. And this Adept is still going to be stuck down. I still have a leader charge. Pogma's not looking too hot. Right. One, two, three, four, five after this turn. I'll play three to six, seven, eight, nine. It's fine, right? Shadow's going to proc four times, which will put him at eight. True. See what I mean about this adept find? If I if I hit Maxi, we're probably losing, right? It's probably over for us. Looking good. I mean, where's the scenario? Are they still going to play it? I'm confused. Venosio? I guess they could front row Venosio. Not looking hot either. No point in showing mercy. No point at all. So do I ever just heat wave this and I'd say something else? Is there any logic in that? Like, where's the scenario? I'm so confused. They used a Nero. Where's the scenario? I don't get it. I guess they missed Venosio. I demand satisfaction now. Can I do the pendulum? I'm much better at that. We shall retake the cities that were stolen from us. Yeah, they missed shields. Good news. Climbing is the easy bit. Getting down. What's the last card? Oh, it's to Teruvio, right? Uh, that's a bit of a problem. I should have probably played front row. I think I've missed play pretty heavily. Oh, shit. Oh, no, chat. I've I had a bit of a stinker here. So I need to take my pocket now, right? Oh, dear. I've had a bit of a nightmare here, chat. It has been spoken. But we win anyway, right? We win anyway, right? Not playing round to reveal. Till the last available second. I like the way you die, human. <sighs> yeah, that was not flawlessly executed. I forgot to play around the deck list. Let's go though. Let's flip and go. Nice. Flexing that Gwen partner card back with my old porridge, bro. They do take the elves, which I'm not surprised about. I think, like, I'm in a really good spot here, chat. Come on, let's go. Like, this is not a good matchup for me. Don't get it twisted. However, I've got the coin. All right. So there's Maddock as a brick. Like, if I can just thin Ceres out round one and not break my hand, it's so good. Come on. All right, we keep it. Because there's Maddock. I could hit Shield Maiden. We're just keeping this hand. It's, like, unchangeable. We have two portal targets in hand, so portal's not going to be bricked yet. Yama's an awkward card for round one. Axie is only really getting reset value in, in turn one. Heatwave is obviously good for Thingamajig. I've got a couple of bombs. The Hunter could be also pretty good. I've had worse hands, for sure. You can brick really easily. So this, this is the stunning blow, applying a lot of pressure early on, right? Um, again, I want to win this round. So I'm pretty sure it's an easy stunning blow. This is why stunning blows in the deck, right? If um if they didn't do this, they could I guess also Axie's not doing much else. I could Axie then stunning blow, right? If I stunning blow it deal six and I could clean up with a bomb, but I can't clean oh, I almost misplayed. I can't clean up with a bomb right because they play a... whatever it's called. A matron. So this is an Axie, which puts it down and then I can stunning blow it. But Axie puts it to four with one armor and stunning blow can kill. All right, we're going front row, back row. Teruvio is a card I actually need to play around this game. Hunter's going to go back row. They're playing around cat, which means back row Axie, right? Let's get this over with. It's Chad Perler in disguise, guys. First, you must learn to flash. Stunning blow, baby. 
Stunning blow. Let's go. This is the, the tech choice, right? I could have gone for Jengi and a 4 people one but I went for the stunning blow. Alright, wow. this is a bit of an issue, obviously. I've got the double matron. That's not great news, is it? It's kind of cheating, dude. This is obviously where Kyalmar just doesn't do the business. Um, a hunter's too slow, right? Because I still can't kill these. Heatwave is not an option. I could double bomb. But that's also a really big commitment. I do need to win the round, but I also need to try and save my bombs, right? One sentry gone is, is pretty good. These matrons are a pain in the ass. So if I go hunter and I ping this. Double bomb. I guess I just take the hunter rope. Got my own engine. I promise you a quick death. Now this is like obviously the downside of not heat waving this first card, but didn't have a choice, right? Let us sing the song of steel. <laughs> hmm. Back row Maddock is really good hit. Come on! Oh mate, Maddock is just on fire, guys. What a guy. Okay, the sentry in two. I mean we've got a lot from them, right? We've not managed to shorten the round like we were hoping. But we've got a lot from them. On easy high roll. Back row Maddox again. What a chad, guys. Come on, kill the sentry. Oh, mate! Maddox on fire, guys. The bad news is the Xiaomi obviously I can't use at this point. Yeah, I work for but them. the good news is... There's a lot of their engines, right? We've got a lot of their fish lap, though. Engines. Excuse my language. Ceres is always a catch-up option. We want to play the Bear Witcher around one. Don't really want to play the Adept because Portal is starting to look ropey. I'm also just worried about Ceres being bricked if we're not careful. Are we just high roll, guys. Obviously, I high roll. Come on! Come on, the Maddock. <laughs> oh, would have been good, huh? A squirrel? Maddock, that is actually cheating, dude. So I can I can get ahead here, right? With Ceres. Easy Ceres. Easy fish lap Ceres, man. The reason I always take the Ceres is because I'm in real danger of bricking anyway. Um and if I have to like heat wave and just bleed this scenario out of them, that is exactly what I'll do. Yamar, obviously not a card. Like, my hand is not ideal. If I just had a more playable hand. Imagine I had like a Maxi or like a Caduce. Sweet. So we trade Ceres for Venosio. It's huge. It's a really good trade. Could have roped a bit more. Just to make sure this is what I want to do. Pretty sure it was. But I don't want a heat wave, right? The objective was shorten the round. If I have to heat wave, it's not good. But I could Kyama instead, right? It's worth it for round control. But I could have roped out a bit longer on this play. I'm offering the pass, right? But for all they know, I could just have a maxi in hand, right? Nice. This is a really good life choice. So we're done here. We're done, so these matrons smoke. Like, they had loads of answers, right? I mean, obviously, I could heat wave, but then my Hyama is just unplayable anyway, right? Heat wave's only correct if last card is location. Scenario, sorry. Right, I'm gonna pass. My extensions. Jack, thank you for that. Deactivate. Sweet. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot this whole flipping time. Are you serious? I'm useless. I've been too busy looking, focusing, guys. I'm sorry. I'm actually useless. <laughs> Focus. Okay, I want a dry pass card. I'm expecting to get dry pass. Bear Witch is not the worst, but I want to quen into it anyway, right? 
Maxi would be great here. If I find Portal, though, what the flip do I do? Yikes. This happened yesterday as well, right? Like, I've just got no dry pass cards, man. I should have kept the Bear Witcher, right? Lip and Eck. What a ball lake. What an absolute ball lake this is. I guess I could have kept the Flapper of Fish, right? Just as a dry pass card. It's probably Hyalmar, right? Hyalmar's my answer to Gezra's. It's not Hyalmar. It's actually Totem. Totem's proactive. There's no locks, though. Man, what a disaster. Ah, what a disaster, chat. Never blue, boy. The thing is, this Quen was bricked if I kept the Bear Witcher, right? I need a proactive card. If I don't find portal, I just lose. Whereas now, if I do this and I don't find portal, I've still got a shot. This is really sad though, right? Like, this is a disaster. Imagine I had Maxi here. Okay, we find portal. Maxi shows up a bit too late. The bomb's great. The only thing we don't want to hit is... Obviously, I want to find Kaducha. I just don't want to hit the double. Double, double. We keep... We missed Kaduch, and obviously I had to play Quen on the dry pass. But I don't play a Neuromancy, right? So, just say that this uh, this player was a Nero, and I just missed one card. This Quen was in a Neuromancy. So, if I start with Portal, it gets my engines up first, right? There is also a Teruvio I need to play around. That's not ideal. They can only kill it by like full leadering, right? That ah, actually might be good. We might be okay here, chat. We might just be okay. It's gonna be a close one. What? What is that play? They just heat wave this? Like you would be better off heat heat waving portal, mate. Hello? What is that play? That's awful. Come on, we 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 deserve this too. I think. Fifteen to the good chat. We're short on the round. I've got Hjalmar for Gezra. Madok is gone. Let's not forget. Maddock is gone. Ezra's going to turn this engine off. They're still Swordmasters, Bowman. Maybe, uh, maybe I could have played this totem front. I just don't want to play into Catwitcher, right? But if I can answer Catwitcher, maybe it's not actually that relevant. There's still a sentry on the loose. There's not. So maybe I could have played totem front. They run to review a bit, but these other cards definitely go front here. And Bowman rather, right? This is, this is just a time for me to slam Blue Boy, though, for sure. We will take back what was stolen. This plays into Catwitch, but around to review. So this is going to grow for three more turns. So it's actually better to kill this, right? But I can kill Yevon now. So, one sec. So I'm going to go... Their next card is Gezra, as you would assume. Right? Next card is Gezra. So then... This goes to four. And then I need to kill it. So I should just kill this now. Two point play is not what we want to be making in round three. I imagine I had a bear witch off Kadooch, right? It's just uh, a different game. Wait, what? Oh, they kill this. Okay, I was confused. I think we're losing, chat. 
Sad face. I think I played like way better in this game. We're pretty unfavored, but um, yeah. I mean, maybe I could have taken this heat wave in uh, in round one, right? Like, why is this guy not playing scenario? I'm so confused. Oh, they did. I heat waved it. If not me. Yeah, we lose because I missed Kaduch and I had to play Quen on the dry pass. I think we lose. Looks like a loss. Yeah. Maybe I just had to risk this mulligan on reflection. This heat wave was so bad for my opponent too, but we lose. Alright, we're super unfavoured in that one. Uh, I'm going first, obviously, in the SK mirror, which I don't want to be doing. Anyway, come on. Really important game. Obviously, starting off on a loss is not what we're looking for. We want to start off with some good momentum. And I think we deserve to. And this is a bricky hand. Very bricked. So, I don't want to be Saracing on blue, right? Particularly, but also thinning the deck is important. So, if we hit Maddock, it's a bit of a disaster, right? We could hit him with the old tempo pass. I think last say is pretty important. Morkfog doesn't do much against me. Turgvi, I've got an answer to. If I hit Maddock, it's a real disaster. I don't think I'm trying to hit Maddock. In these uh, qualifiers today, so I'm just going to keep the hand. So if I go Hunter, it could get Gutting Slashed. But they only actually have one of those. So I'll probably just risk playing the Hunter here. Um, because I don't want to just commit Ceres, right? So I, I lose a point than what I would otherwise have. I could also go for the Fish Flapper, but... Kind of value this card a bit more. Um, because also, like, if they play a ship, I just want to be able to answer it, right? So basically, I'm saying, do you have a gut your one single gutting slash? And if not, you're punished for not having it, right? Like, if they had two, I would never make this play. But I'm trying to punish them for their deck building decisions here. Let's see if they high roll us. Risk breaking my portal with this play for sure, but I don't want to just slam Ceres unnecessarily if I can win the round without doing so. If this got answered, I probably would have considered slamming Ceres. Maybe I should have gone for the flapper first for this reason, right? If this is my line. Blood Eagle Babylon into the Pretty expensive, honestly. Blood for blood. Maybe I played this a bit wrong. I mean, they could have done this either way. I did it right. Didn't really make a difference. Now we just slam Sarah here, I'm pretty sure. Like, first Blood Eagle's gone, so if I get round control, it's really good for us. Step careful there. And I want to thin my deck, right? I've got so many bricks in my deck right now. I've only got two portal targets left. I've also got a, uh, f a fish flap at 50 Yama, so... Slam Ceres. Not ideal. Front row, please. Mate, Maddock is on form. Now we've got the option of passing. The first Eagle's gone. I, I want to bleed this match up, right? Like, I just want round control with this deck. It's just a point slam deck. I want easy high roll. This is a really nice um, northern wind for us as well because this can be res. Come on, this is a nice high roll moment. Front row as well. Okay, come on. Please kill the ship. There's five points. It deals three damage. Come on! Nice. Maddock is on form, guys. Maddock is on our side. All right. So we win the round. Obviously, we, we spent Ceres. Um, we, they've got one card they can play from Graveyard. We need we needed round control. One blood eagle has gone too. We really want to find the portal. That'll be great, great. Totem would be good too. It's a nice proactive option. Yama set up. Heat wave's good. Come on. I'm gonna lose the bear witcher because the adrenaline tag can be awkward and um. It's a good. It's my Quen target, right? Really. I mean, Axie could be too. Maybe bear witch is a good keep. I guess four removals not super relevant times three. I probably just lose a bomb. 
Okay, I still don't have my proactivity apart from off Kadooch, which isn't the worst option. I think I'm just losing the Bear Witcher hit. Maybe it's a bomb for this push, maybe I only need one bomb. Yikes. That's not what we wanted to see, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I have last say, but I want to smoke it. I just don't have Portal or Totem, and obviously I've spent Ceres. Um, so, how could they answer? They can answer the Quartermaster with War of Clans. I'm kind of stuffed, guys, really. I mean, I could trade Kadooch for War of Clans, I guess, but it's not a good trade, really, is it? I have to hope they don't have War of Clans, I guess. Uh, yeah. This is pretty unfortunate. Pretty unfortunate. Maxi, uh, Totem Portal. We have to go for it. We always uh, go for it here. I'd lend you a hand, but then... So War of Clans is the answer to it. That's fine. That's all right. So the other bad thing here is how else could it die? I want a stunning blow, right? I mean, it's not really threatened by anything, I don't think. Blood Eagle can't get it. Kadooch can't get it yet. Skjordal could get it, but it's also bleeding a ton, right? So, like, do we care that much if they Skjordal? Four points. Really. I mean, I guess it's not, but not great for them. Nice. Wrong row, mate. Um. Bear Witch is not a threat yet. Blood Eagle is not going to be a threat yet. If I click this, they can Eagle, but it's not really that relevant. Yeah, I just do. No reason not to. The only bad thing is if Hunter comes in, but like this is not even getting damage anywhere, right? Like if they put a Hunter in the back row, it's kind of irrelevant if they kill the Maddox, right? Because I was going to click it anyway. So actually, it's still worth a point. He wasn't getting any damage, they were just going to avoid the front row. Obviously, Blue Boy can come in in just a second, too. Don't you pester me. Don't click. Go on, don't click. What was discarded? A raider. Just feels like time to blue boy, right? I get the heal value as well. Um, Jengi Fret is a better Hjalmar as well. As a Raider in the next round and Harold. So I don't want to spend any of these other cards. This is good for Turg, obviously. Come on, let's go. Time to face our I've already used Ceres, so let's clean the board up here. That's why we committed the Ceres round one, one, right? We just wanted this round control. And like, even though the hand wasn't ideal to bleed here, they didn't have the War of Clans. And um, like, I think my deck's the much better deck here. I really do. So there's still a Blood Eagle. There's a Harold. There's a Turg V. There's a Kadooch, a Burner. Obviously, Leader. Deals five. Last say would be nice. Probably gearing up towards a pass here. We didn't want to like go all in in this bleed, just like do a bit of smoking and like we've achieved that right. Morkvog. It's a pretty greedy play, right? So 
vapion has gone. I don't like passing at all here. Obviously, I don't really like this bomb play either. It's pretty bad. But I mean, it, it plays for what? We do three damage. I could also just slam the Hyalmar, right? Hyalmar plays for eight. Whereas a bomb plays for three, two, five. Could pass maybe. Like what do they what could they do that does it? They need ten. Tie right, eleven to do it. This just seems like the pass, right? Hogvi doesn't do it. Hogvi does do it, right? I'm happy with this play. Like, we can probably just trade this bomb for two golds, basically. Wait, they had War of Clans? Well, they hit Blue Boy. I mean, this is good, right? Like, they needed 10 before, they still need 10. Perg V, however, still does it. Uh, I have an 8 point Axie here. And obviously if they Turg V me now, like... <sighs> trades down by a few, but like if they Turg V me now, my Axie is just completely useless, right? I'm kind of forced into this Axie play, I think, here. I just Axie Blue Boy. They could also go Kadooch. Their next play. And Morkwag is a, is a nice reset for them. They could have gone Kaduch here though, right? But I'm just scared of this Turgvi being enough, really. Like if they Turgvi me, right? What do I flip and do at that point? You know what I mean? What does my Axie do? So here comes Toby. We, we knew this was coming, right? But this is probably just us done. I mean, do I have a heat wave? Probably not. This is probably just us done now. We're not looking too hot, are we? But we shortened the round. I've still got Portal Totem. Like, I don't know. Maybe we're okay. I'm losing six. Like we probably still, they probably only have a handful of golds, right? Like this heat wave, what would overtake like leader? I just need last say, I think still. That's probably pretty important for for the kind of cards I have in my deck. Job done. This Axie play was correct, right? It's obviously just unfortunate they had the Turg V. They could have always blood eagled into it too, right? Getting the Blood Eagle is really nice, but it's a shame it's a bronze. So they drew the nuts if they're taking this Blood Eagle, right? So I have last say. I'm obviously down a leader ability and I'm just not drawing any cards. Totem, Quen, Portal, missing them all. Yikes. This is a, a bit of a disaster chat. <sighs> we lose this game. Ah, this is really frustrating, man. We shall I had to take this mulligan game. too, like, is. Not a misplay in the mulligans or anything like that. I just low rolled super hard. Feels really bad. Like, I'm pretty sure I deserve this series, right? But, never mind.
We always take the bottom here because I can get more value off uh, Kiyama and Heatwave on Harold and Jengi. Bear Witcher off Kadooch. And obviously they don't have Beagle, right? So. Ah, I guess this is the downside of this play, right? Double the kind and consider it done. <laughs> Imagine I just have portal man, like fucking hell. Makes such a difference, right? Like if fish flapper comes out second. We lost. I thinned my um I missed Maxi both games, right? I thinned my flipping Ceres round one. I was fish flapper old man. You're coming with me, dead or alive. Like honestly, don't think my opponent deserved this at all. I think they played the elves game really bad too. I can't say I'm surprised it's SK that's costing me though. Fuck. Bullshit, man. <laughs> 